is Tukey's HSD. Now what a lot of people don't know is that Tukey's HSD is actually a single step procedure. Fisher's LSD is a two step procedure. You first need to do the ANOVA and then you do, if it's significant, you look at your Fisher LSD values. With two keys, it's a single step procedure. You actually don't need to do the ANOVA first. And I'll support that by referencing Roger Kirk's experimental design, very credible textbook uh, in statistics. And over here, uh, Kirk says, uh, two keys HSD test, this single step procedure controls the family-wise type error rate for a collection of all uh, a, posteriori, uh, a posteriori pairwise comparisons. So it's a single step procedure and that means it doesn't need an ANOVA first. You just go straight in with the two keys. Very, very few people ever do that, but you are justified in doing so and it's more powerful to do so. So if you do compare means one way ANOVA and put student mean a student dependent list here teacher group here. I've got four groups in this case I forgot to mention and the fourth group I've added a very low expectation so instead of low average high there's now also a very low expectation group for the fourth group and post hoc I'm gonna click on Tukey and I'm gonna click on OK because I can't use Fisher's LSD when I have more than three means there are other options and most of them are very conservative Tukey even itself is somewhat conservative. Unfortunately, SPSS doesn't do the Fisher Hader modified LSD, which is the most powerful test in this case. But we'll go with Tukey. We'll click on Continue, click on Options, Descriptive, Homogeneity of Variance, and Plot the Means. Click on Continue, and OK. Now here's the output for, for this one. Now, here are the descriptive statistics. And the means and standard deviations are identical for the first three groups that I've already analyzed. Now there's this very low expectation group, which has a mean of 11.29, which is roughly similar to the low expectation teachers. So it doesn't look like very low expectation teachers have much difference than low expectations. Here's the test of homogeneity variance. Still above 0 0.05, which is good. I want that. It means that the standard, the variances are all equally to each other or by inference the standard deviations and that's an assumption of the ANOVA. Here's the ANOVA table F value of 6.039 with P less than 0 0.05 or P equal 0 0.001 so it's statistically significant and now uh, the multiple comparisons. Now I should mention that if you do two key you don't actually need to look at the ANOVA you can just go straight into the multiple comparison table that's how Tukey invented the test. He invented it so you didn't have to look at ANOVA first. You just go straight to multiple comparisons. Now it takes a lot of guts, I think, to write a paper doing that. So when I show you, I'll make a write-up on how you should write up results for a one-way between groups ANOVA. And technically you can go straight into the multiple comparison table rather than the ANOVA. But it would take guts to do that, I think, because a lot of reviewers would make ask questions and teachers would ask questions. But you can reference Roger Kirk. And Roger Kirk's not the only person that mentions it as a single step procedure. So in this case here, I've got the four means and very low expect uh, very low expectations versus low expectations was in fact not statistically significant based on Tukey's HSD procedure. 0.984. And uh, but the other tests are significant, but low expectations versus average expectations is not statistically significant. 0 0.082. Uh, and low expectations versus high expectations is statistically significant. 0 0.012. Uh, so we've got our multiple comparisons here. Some are significant and some are not. If we look at the group means in this plot, we can see that these two means here are not significant from each other and these two are not significant from each other and also low expectation versus average expectation is not low expectation average expectation it's nearly so but it's not 0 0.082 now something worth pointing out is this next table which uh, is called homogeneous subtests subsets and SPSS produces this automatically 
and it's basically only relevant